Welcome to this welding module on calling programs from inputs. You'll explore how to use calls, jumps, and if-then-else commands in a robot program to execute tasks from external inputs. These commands are used throughout your lab work and in industrial applications for remote start applications. Let's start by looking at the commands required to call a program from an input. If then else is sometimes called a conditional branch statement. The if portion tests a condition. Depending on whether the condition is true or false, the program executes either a first statement block, then block, or a second statement block, else block. A call statement transfers control from one program to another within the original program. In this example, Main program has a call command. When this line executes, the robot leaves the current program and runs the T joint program completely. When program T joint finishes, the cursor returns to the original program, which is one line below that call statement. A jump and a label are two commands that work hand in hand. The jump moves the cursor to a new location in the program, the label is the destination for the jump. This sample program uses an if-then-else, calls, and jumps to execute a program from an input. Line 1 is a motion command that moves the robot to its home position. Line 2 is a label. It's a destination for a jump command that is used later in the program. Line 3 is an if-then-else command. It evaluates the status of input 1. If input 1 is on, the program calls program T joint. If input 1 is off, the program executes a NOP or no operation. This means the cursor moves to the next line of the program without performing a task. Line 4 is an if then else command. This command evaluates the status of input 2. If input 2 is on, the program calls program L joint. If input 2 is off, the program executes an NOP, or no operation. This means the cursor moves to the next line of the program without performing a task. Line 5 is a jump command. The destination is label 0001. When this line is executed, the cursor moves back up to line 2 of the program. As written, the program will not reach the endpoint and will continue evaluating the code inside of the jump and label inside of lines two and five. Now, let's check your knowledge with a few questions. Calls, jumps, and if-then-else commands are used throughout your lab work and in industrial applications for remote start programs. You've completed this welding module on calling programs from inputs.